This is the TV news for Friday, March 4th, 2011. Brought to you by NumarU.com, internet marketing education for professional people. Visit them at NumarU.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with the sports TV news. It's a man out! A man out! Wow, why would we lead with that? Take your dirty paws off me, you da- no, it's not that either. It's because of March Madness, which is right around the corner, and it just got a lot madder. Here to explain is our very own Eric Mackerlin. Eric! Hey, thanks a lot, Jeff. And you recall how recently we told you about how CBS and Turner are teaming up to show every NCAA basketball tournament game in its entirety. And this week, we're going to tell you how you're going to watch the tournament online, okay? March Madness On Demand is back. Just take a look at the screenshot over my shoulder. If you got it in previous years, you'll recognize it. Every game online in its entirety for free. Can't beat that, but it gets better, okay? The games are also now available on your iPhone and your trusty iPad, okay? For free, and they're gonna be available whether you use the Wi-Fi connection or your 3G connection, either one, free. As long as you get the, the access, you're gonna get the games, fantastic. How popular is this going to be? Well, AdAge is reporting that nearly the entire online ad inventory for the online coverage of the tournament is sold out. It's gone. Probably can't get any. Better hurry up if you want to try. Okay? Guess you don't need to charge for online content when you've got a property as hot as the NCAA tournament. Really, it's an object lesson, giving sports fans what they want and making sure you make top dollar from it. Back to you, Dr. Zass. <laughs> Thank you. Eric, it's uh, proof positive that if you can vertically stratify your marketing, TV, online, iPad, iPhone, smartphone, and uh, give it to everyone, you get all those eyeballs. We thank you, Eric, for enlightening us, and we will see you next week. Get ready for the TV industry celebration of 2011. It's happening this November, but the big announcement is coming in March. Stay tuned. Well, now it's time for the TVNews.TV's Charlie Sheen Meltdown Minute. Oh, sure, Charles in Charge just set a world record for ramping up over a million Twitter followers in just two days. But now he's convinced he's going to make a mint tweeting endorsements. <laughs> Good luck with that, Chuck Wagon. Hey, uh, guess who just tweeted that she's going to be an evil villainess on NBC's Soylent Green pilot of Wonder Woman. Yep, the ever-lovely Elizabeth Hurley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, baby. And speaking of Soylent Green, which is people, guess who Simon Cowell has on his short list to be a judge on Fox's X Factor this fall? <laughs> Paula Abdul. Looks like it's deja vu all over again. All over again. All over again. You're unbelievable. No anal probes. What's the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> Future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Okay, it's high time for you to sign on as a sponsor of the TV News. With our over 300,000 views by media decision makers, plus our top-notch cloud scores, you will be glad you did. Now to get the ball rolling, ping us with an email at advertise at the TVNews.tv. You know what? We would love to connect with you on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And here's how we can connect. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We will be back on Monday with a fresh edition that's led by Gabriel Reyes and the Hispanic Media Report. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, go out and make it a great weekend.